<laughs> I was. <laughs> Maybe you should introduce yourself first, Rajiv. <laughs> ah, yes. Silly me. I'm Rajiv, the royal engine. The pleasure is all yours. <gasps> Norja. Hmm. Just because you have a crown doesn't mean you're royal. Our railway is also the most glamorous. And the most hardworking. <laughs> you soon get used to working here, Thomas. It's not so different to the railway on Sodor, you know. <gasps> wow! We don't have those in the shunting yards on Sodor. <laughs> oh, elephants used to be everywhere and can still be seen in some places in India. There was a time when elephants used to work in the shunting yards. They used to help shunt the cars when the engines were busy. Elephants can't shunt cars? <laughs> yes, they can. Some elephants are stronger than engines, Thomas. Oh, was that an elephant? No, just me bringing you your cars. On my way to deliver my cars, I saw many more new things. Amazing palaces and monuments. Very high bridges. And even animals traveling on top of trains. Oh! Ashima, why have you stopped? I'm waiting for her to wake up. Why don't you blow your whistle to make her move? That's what Sir Topham Hand would tell us to do. <laughs> but, Thomas, cows are very special to many people in India. And if a cow wants to sleep, well, we let it sleep. Oh, okay, Shima. I'll let her sleep, too. See you later. I couldn't believe it. Elephants, goats, chickens, cows. It felt to me like the animals were in charge of the railway in India. I didn't think that could ever happen on Sodor. Thomas, the tank engine, you've come in on the wrong platform. Ah. You're causing confusion and delay. Watch where you're going. My turn! <gasps> no, it's not, James. Say sorry for cutting in and go back. <laughs> but that would be like saying sorry for being bigger, faster, and more splendid than you are. Hmm. Right. Uh, first up, I've got cars of sardines that need delivering. <clears throat> uh, oh. Oh. Sardines? What are they? Little fish, James. Ew, smelly. James can do that job, sir. He loves being the first to jump in. Oh, I can hear someone calling out my name. James, we've got an important job for a splendid engine like you. Huh? You heard him. <laughs> Gotta go. Important job calling. Uh, wait a minute, James. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess you can take the sardines, Philip. One side of the bridge is closed for repairs, Philip. So we have to make sure the track is clear before you go on. OK, all clear. Splendid. James, stop! The track is not clear! Huh? Oh, what is he doing now? Oh. 
the Sickleman's flag, you made a mistake. Oh, did I? Yes, you did. So you need to reverse and you need to say sorry. You've been unfair and, quite frankly, not very nice. <gasps> what do you mean? Well, you didn't say sorry when you knocked the crates into me at the docks. You didn't say sorry when you splattered us both with oil. You didn't say sorry when you jumped ahead of me at the washdown. And now, you're blocking the bridge. Are you OK, Paxton? Do you need a little push? It's not me. It's Thomas. It's not me. It's Philip. It's not me. It's James. So you need to say sorry. Please. I don't make mistakes. You're probably the one who made the mistake. <sighs> I do hope the animals are okay. <gasps> Thomas! What on earth does he have in those cars? Animals coming to stay? This is an emergency, Gordon. These animals are freezing and they need looking after. Our boilers will keep them warm. But it'll be like living in a zoo. Oh, the indignity. It's my Christmas wish come true. Stop packing my paintwork, you oversized chicken. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone! It stopped snowing and all the lines have been cleared. Huh? What? Merry Christmas, sir. I couldn't make it to the steamworks, so I had to bring the animals back here. But some of us are not very happy about it, sir. They're smelly and noisy, and that ostrich won't leave me alone. Don't worry, James. The new boiler arrived this morning. Uh, James, what's that under your smoke box? The ostrich. She's laid an egg. And I'm afraid it'll have to stay there till it hatches. What? Now I'm babysitting birds? No! Calm down, James. It's Christmas, remember? A season of goodwill to everyone. <gasps> Even ostriches! Oh, my hat! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever helped to look after an animal? Maybe you have a pet at home or at school in your classroom. Luke once found a little deer who was scared by all the noise at the quarry, and he brought it to a place that was safe and quiet. One winter, I brought some animals to Titmouth Sheds to keep warm. All the engines helped. Even James warmed to the idea. Here, chicky, chicky, chick. Come to Uncle James. Oh, how cute. Dream. <sighs> oh. James, I'm so glad Sir Topham let us borrow you while Spencer is on loan. Oh, I see you've gotten your silver paint polished. Very smart. Silver? Oh, yes! This is what I call looking splendid! <laughs> Woohoo! Don't I look marvelous! Stop showing off! Jumpy back here. Sorry about that. 
If you keep showing off, James, you'll have another crash. 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 Go on. about showing off yesterday. I don't care if you paint me blue or green or silver, so long as I can be really useful again, sir. <laughs> yes, James. I did tell you a long time ago that if you misbehaved again, I would have you painted blue. However, I can see that you're sorry, and I think it's only right to have you painted in a colour that suits you best. Ooh. Hello, Thomas. Oh, hello, James. Good to see you back on the line again. All repaired and repainted, too. I'm not going to say a word about my paintwork today. Really? It doesn't matter what color I am. It's what I do to be really useful that matters. Who told you that? Why, you did, Thomas. In a dream. <laughs> you. I bet my shiny red paint 